Got a motorcycle license. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you very much. Oh. Wow. Here she is. She's big. That's a step. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. I'm excited. Man, yeah, this, is, this is one of the better deliveries I've ever had to do. I've had to deliver out in Ojai and those mountain oh, yeah. roads oh, and okay. trying to find parking and unload <laughs> and this was simple. <laughs> and so I, I wasn't sure what Glendale's like because we have a customer who lives in Alta Dina and I put it all together. He lives in a real windy little wooded road. So, uh, but, uh, yeah. Very nice. Yay. Hey. Very well, um, all right, let me give you the... Uh, yeah, so uh, did you want, where did you want to take a picture before it gets uh, light out or dark? Uh, right here. Yeah, okay, let me turn it around. <laughs> Wait, and then you can stand by. <laughs> hey, man, you're in the family now. Are you kidding me? This is a big deal. Uh, yeah. Especially New Year's. That looks fast. This is our first uh, 2022 sale also. This, you're the first person getting an S for 2022. I think I told you that, right? Uh, yeah, wow. Yeah. Did you hear that? I'm the first one. Uh -huh. The first one getting one, yeah. Wow. Because they just they just delivered them. Uh -huh. And yeah, so we had the bike came before the charge tank, so we had to wait and put uh -huh. that on there. Uh -huh. So yeah. And the charge tank is in that. Hmm? This is this, this, this one? Yeah. Okay. And they don't come from that from the factory that we know. Yeah. Alright, did you want the garage door open closed? What do you want to do? Uh, let's keep it open. Okay. Let's have you sit by the bike. Like sit yeah. on it? No, sit on Like stand on, like right here? And right here, facing? Smile. <laughs> like that. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I'll send you a copy. Okay. Yay. Did you want to get in there too? No. Nope? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Nice. Successful. Very yes. Nice. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Be careful, man. This thing has got brand new tires on it. So, and with the weather the way it's been, I wouldn't ride this for two or three days before they let the streets dry out, dry out. you know. Uh, I even drove a car today, and that's why it's taking me so long. I would have been here earlier, but I didn't risk riding a bike today, myself. So don't test drive it today. No, I'm not going to go around the block. I'm not sure you can. It's just the roads are still kind of wet out there. So, but I'm excited. I mean, you know, you want to be safe. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... Uh, let me walk you through the paperwork, I guess, first, and then I'll okay. walk you through the bike. Okay. And uh, this, this, now, I couldn't remember, did you say, did you say, did you call me after you got this and you were curious about bike locks? About walking yes. the bike? Okay. That's 200 bucks you owe me. Okay. <laughs> Those are 200 bucks, <laughs> but it's a gift. Thank you. So, oh, wow. let me show you. Let me show you. It, it didn't have the uh, compartment anymore? I no, you no, you lose the compartment. The old one. Yeah. yeah. The old one had a compartment. This takes that place. But you still have the compartment here. That's why it's still okay. You still have plenty of storage there, which I'll show you. And then later on down the road, if you want to get a box. You know, most people do that anyway if they're hauling stuff. It's, uh, I love it too because if she gets on the back, you just, you relax, get a big cushion. Uh -huh. And you can just, you know, after, after, you need about six months to a year before you should be taking passengers, mm -hmm. my advice. Um, and uh, riding at night, be, be, be weary of riding at night and getting on the freeways right away. It's, um, the curb, usually on a gas bike, it takes about a year in LA streets to get comfortable. On an electric bike, it's much faster because there's nothing to learn on the bike. Right. So you, in about four months, give yourself about four months and before you ride with anybody else or anything like that, you just go out and explore, take your time, and then you build up your confidence that way. And it's gonna be, about, give yourself right. four months. I got it super impressive bike there. Oh, you did? <laughs> Oh, uh, you are C-90, uh, right? Or 390? Uh, it's 90. 90. Oh, it's 290. Okay. So you are doing the practice in, and okay, all right. Cool. Yeah, and, and, the, and then the lock here goes down on the phone. I'm going to show you, see? The lock here, there's a key, and the lock, see this clamp? Slides right onto one of those holes. That's a disc. This one. You put that on there and lock the front, a tow truck can't get this bike. <laughs> I've had it happen. <laughs> I parked in a place and, you know, so yeah, sure, yeah. yeah, no worries. Okay. You, you just want to um, tell us more about the bike and then we'll end the recording? Oh, I didn't know you, I you were still recording. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, so you just turn it on. Listen for a click every time, okay?
You hear that? Yeah. Don't do anything until you hear that click. That's a contact and engaging the button. It's kind of like a warm up period. Uh, if you try to do anything before that, it, it, it doesn't ruin the bike, but it's like restarting the computer. So then you just gotta turn it off, turn it back on again. So if you, if you fumble with anything. So just play it safe, wait for that click to happen. This is your readout. Um, you'll wanna download, after I leave, you wanna download the app and play around with the phone app um, to Bluetooth into the bike so you can do custom settings and things of that nature. Uh, that's gonna take some time and navigation on, on that to do that. Uh, you can download the um, uh, owner's manual also directly from the site okay. in PDF form. Um, now, uh, you have three modes. As you can see, it says Eco here, right where my finger is? Yeah. Okay. So then you go push this gray button. Now it says custom. That would be the settings that you use your phone with. And then this last one here is sport mode. That's your freeway, that's your fastest mode. Okay. Uh, no regen, not, not, no, maybe 5% regen. On um, eco mode, which is what I recommend you ride around for a while, scrub those tires, get the little butts off of them, get them neat and grippy. Um, then uh, you're going to, um, Eco mode is about 30% is the stock factory setting of regenerative braking, 30% of the bike. So as you go, it kind of slows down when you let up on it. And that helps you, you know, and it also helps generate uh, electricity in the bike. A little bit. Um, when you use the phone app in the custom setting, you can turn that all the way up to 100%, which I have a lot of beginners do. You turn it all the way up to 100%, and that way, when they're riding, as soon as they let up, it wants to stop. And then you barely touch the brakes and you spare the life of your brakes for a while, and then you're not making all kinds of sudden movements. The bike wants to stop for you. It's an excellent way to train as you're gaining your experience on the bike. So that's what a lot of customers do. You hit the custom mode, you turn it up to 100%, and then they're just riding around, and it, it's it's almost like you're forcing the bike to run. And it doesn't hurt the bike. It just it just um, generates more electricity, but also it, it wants to stop. It, 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 it's almost like it grips the road for you as you're riding around town. Okay. Um, now, on this side, you have the left and right blinkers, okay? And then push in to turn off, but do not turn off automatically, okay? And you have a horn right underneath there. You have your brights, you're riding around at night, as you can see. You have your hazards if you're ever on the side of the road. Is it illegal to keep them on the bright? No, 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 you can leave them on bright if you want. Uh, you, won't, you won't necessarily need it, though. Right. One thing you do get to do, and you may have learned that already on the other bike, is the flicker. You know, when they're splitting lanes and you tell the people to get out of your way, just live on this. That's what I do. I'm constantly doing this in traffic. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Uh, now, um, right now it, it's giving you about 70 miles range. It's predicting that. You have 94%. Um, it's good to leave the bike sitting for a long period of time, not at 100%. Okay. That is sitting like 90, 95, 85, right on there. Especially if you travel and leave for a long time, like a month, vacation, a little longer. Uh, leave it unplugged and leave it at, at like 80 or 90 percent. If you're using it every day, it's the opposite. You can charge it every day, you can use it, you can do whatever, exercise the bike as much as you want if you're riding five days a week. Now, um, you see this red blinking light here? Uh -huh. Okay. That tells us that whenever you see that, you're safe. You're not going anywhere. Oh, okay. okay. That's, your, that's your safety. Oh, wow. Whenever you see that blinking, that tells you, okay, because it doesn't make any noise. That's right. Now, I'm gonna get on it. Now, I'm gonna put the kickstand up. Okay, red light's still blinking because I have the kill switch off also. Be in the habit, unlike gas bikes, when you hear the engine off, you wanna be in the habit of turning on and off this kill switch. It'll save you something. Just when you come along and grab something, you know, says, hey, how you doing? And grabs it so it doesn't jump out of your hand. People do do that. Even the police officers do that during their training. So, um, now, if I put the kickstand back down, okay, and turn the kill switch on, it's still. So they both, just, just to demonstrate that they both need to be up and on, and then walk it out. And I hit, put this up, and the kill switch is on. See, now I have a green light over here. So there's a red green light, green light over here, okay? That means I'm on. Oh, wow, it's on already. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you're sound. Don't make any noise. You don't have to switch another button. This button. It's your mode button. It's your mode button. It's not the start button like no. the regular. What's the other button? This one. Wow. That's 
what I mean. You've got to live on this button. Right. Always know. Because, you know, because you don't hear anything. And you sit here talking to somebody at a right. street light saying, hi, how are you doing, boom? And you're gone. Wow. So be careful. So right now you have six miles. <laughs> and, so you turn that on. Uh, it's on. It's, it's, it's on. The motor's on. But it's not in but go mode yet. Yeah, but you don't have to, you don't even have to press the brake. You won't kind of go. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm using my back brake to stop. I don't even use my front brake. Unless it's right at the edge. But it doesn't, it doesn't go even if the brakes are on. What do you mean? I mean, even if it's on. It's off right now. Try turning it off. It doesn't go unless you put gas on. Unless I hit this. Uh, unless you hit it's the only time it gets. Yep. Otherwise, it's like a, on a neutral button. Yeah, it's just sitting there. It's always sitting in neutral. There is no real gear. Right. I was, I was, I was scared that... If, uh, if you're not pressing on the brake, it will just go by itself. Nope. Since it might no be chance. in uh, first gear already. Yep. It's a, with the, that's what you know. That's what is known as direct drive. So it won't move unless you. Unless I hit the throttle. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> to be safe, I have it live right now. Right. You could walk up to me and say, "Hey, how you doing?" Right. And the bike, to, you know, flips out. So I right. put that on. It's blinking. Now it's totally safe. I can do whatever I want. Turn it off all the time. Yep. Stop. Have you used that other bike yet? What made you get yeah. that one? Oh, just, it's just a practice bike. Just a practice bike up here. Right. Um, yeah, it's a good backup bike, I guess. Yeah, it's a good standard. Yeah. Well, to learn too, because you went because you went to the school. Yeah. How did the school go? Was it confident? Were you confident? Was it good? I felt so confident when I went to the school. Good. This, this is going to be so easy. To <laughs> Compared to anything that you learned on, this is just you're gonna you're gonna be almost bored because it's just like there's no challenge here. The challenge is kind of trying to just keep your wits about you. You're always very aware of things. You hear everything because there's no noise, so you're always alert, you know. And that'll keep you safe. That'll keep you no, safe. But I wanted it as a commuter bike. That's yeah, why. Yeah. You know, oh yeah, and, that, and that's what I'm saying is you're gonna be out there with a lot of noise, a lot of sirens, a lot of people talking, crowds, traffic. This will allow you to focus on your riding rather than the bike. Yeah. So I turn that off. Now to, now to lock it, go all the way to the left, okay? And then you turn the key, wiggle it, push it down and turn the key all the way to the left. And now that's not going anywhere. So if you lock this and then lock the back, no one can take this bike unless they can pick it up. <laughs> and they want to drag it down the street. It, it won't go. Up. And you push down to do that. Um, now, let's show you the uh, storage unit. So this is a magnet here, and you want to fit this on here. So when I loosen this, okay, see it, it's a magnet right here. So I, it's, it's kind of like a magnet slash hole, and it, you stick it on there. Well, it's so new, you gotta pull the plastic real quick. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So, it fits really nice. Open that. And then you use a key. Same key. Yeah. And then you switch. Now that fits right now. Yeah. And the registration or something. Yeah, you can keep the registration there. That way it's always on you until, uh, until I send you the real one. And I'll be sending you plates as well. Very nice. There uh, your cable's here. Cable. This is to plug in the garage. Okay. So you can charge it in the garage on this side here. So you have two ways to charge this bike. This is your 110 trickle charge overnight. It takes about six hours. Okay. All you do is plug it into the wall and you'll see a green pulsating light. Okay. 
and a lot of riders just keep it right here in the in here or you can probably leave it in the house because you don't need to take it with you because right. you have a charge tank right. so you don't really need to take this anywhere right. and then in the charge tank okay you will plug in the at whatever charge station you're at plug in the gun first then turn on the key and you'll start the charging process. And as soon as you see a blinking, pulsating green light right here, going like this, then you turn it off, walk away, and the bike will continue to charge until it's charged. Turn it off. Yeah, you have to make sure it's off when you first put the gun in. Off first. Yeah, then you turn it on to start the charge. And then off. And then off again and walk away. That's it. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, so I just have a few things for you to sign. Yeah. It moves really uh, well when it's off. Yeah. It moves much smoother when it's off.